this interview is being presented by Intimidation Clothing. Impose your will. Uncivilize. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Be a beast among men. Adrenaline Training Center. Up your game. Change the way you train. TheDailyPunch.net. Have you got in your Daily Punch? Area 51 Fight Gear and MMA Mind Power. Late Night MMA Radio is live Monday and Thursdays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Call into the show to win MMA merchandise. www.latenightmma.com. Join the revolution. Let's bring in Thomas Denny. You there, man? Yo, yo. Thomas Denny in the house. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. What are you up to? Oh, man, I'm over here uh, at one of my friends, uh, Tasha's house, getting my hair done. She's uh, throwing some bleach in it and got me on the uh, the beauty dryer right here. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. So, uh, most recently, you fought in Maximum Fighting Championship. How was that experience? Oh, it's always a good time up there, man. Uh, Mark, Mark puts on a, a good show, runs a good thing. Uh, yeah, we have a good relationship, so it's, it's always a good time up there. I love Canada. Okay, man, talk about your fight coming up. Ah, uh, fight coming up. Carl Parisian, March 31st. A uh, little, uh, little about, what, 10, 12 days out. Uh, super excited, ready to, uh, you know. The, my last couple of fights, I mean, I, I spent a whole year fighting one kid last year. So, uh, <laughs> kind of a, a, a big, athletic, strong kid. Uh, Carl's the exact opposite. I mean, I don't think he's, he's got an athletic bone in his body. But uh, he's got some great throws. So uh, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to uh, just get in and uh, ha- have some fun. Yeah, for sure. And talk a little bit about this card. This card's stacked, dude. Yeah, there, there's uh, there's quite a few good 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 little fights on there. We got Drew Ficken on there. I uh, got Wild Beer Bomb on there. Sean McCorkle. So uh, it's going to be uh, quite quite an event. Yeah, for sure. And we had uh, Sean McCorkle on last hour, and he doesn't understand how uh, he's in the main event and you guys aren't the main event. Yeah, he's a he's a cool guy, man. I, I like Sean a lot. He uh, the whole time we were doing our interviews out there and kind of filming for the show, uh, he just kept saying, "I can't believe that I'm a main event over you. You and Carl should be the main event. We should be the co-main." And uh, to me, you know, it, it the way I look at it is, I get to hurry up and get done and watch his fight. So uh, I'm excited to be uh, underneath the card and, and get to watch the big man go to work. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. So, what's your greatest accomplishment in mixed martial arts? My greatest accomplishment, uh, not having a real job for the last 13 years. Good answer, bro. Good answer. Um, let's talk a little bit about this uh, Team Wildman. For sure. You know, we're, the, the thing is, is uh, I recently, uh, two, you know, a little over two years ago now, moved out to Colorado, kind of started a new gym, a whole new team, uh, brought some of the guys out with us. And uh, so we'll work with a lot of green guys, man, some up-and-comers, some definite household names you'll be hearing about is uh, Josh Cavan. He's a 170-pounder. Uh, kid's just a, a phenom, super athletic, um, real uh, coachable. He uh, knew nothing except hockey prior to uh, joining our team. So uh, he was a tough son of a gun before, uh, before we even got out there. Uh, Jeremy Kimball. Uh, they call him Grizzly. Kid's 21 years old, but he's got a face right now like a, a grown man. He's kind of almost got a Kimbo look to him with some long hair. So uh, real deceiving, white kid. Uh, just throws, I mean, throws strikes from all angles. Uh, a lot of people say he strikes like Anderson Silva. So uh, those two will definitely be some uh, upcomers that you'll definitely be hearing about. Okay, for sure, man. And uh, do you want to throw out the uh, training facility address? Sure, man. It's uh, 6280 East Progress Lane, Parker, Colorado, 80134. Uh, stop on by, man. Check us out. Kind of uh, see what we got going on. We got a good little team. It's more of like a, a family-filled uh, room, you know, all guided by God. We let, uh, we let him dictate our path, and uh, we just abide and follow through. Okay, good stuff. Now I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Top five pound for pound fighters in mixed martial arts. Uh Anderson Silva, George Saint Pierre, Jose Aldo, Dominic Cruz. 
John Jones. Okay, good stuff, man. And uh, what you like to do outside of mixed martial arts? You know what? Uh, my, my life is pretty consumed with uh, family. Um, I'm definitely a family man. You know, I have uh, a couple daughters. I've got a beautiful girlfriend that, uh, you know, we, we spend as much time together. It's kind of funny. She's a amateur fighter as well. She's 4-1 and one in mixed martial arts. And uh, so uh, our, our whole life is geared around fighting and eating clean and, you know, being very active. So uh, it, it's always something to do with uh, just, you know, being outside and enjoying the day. Good stuff. And how much longer does the wild man want to keep fighting? <laughs> that, that's a question we'd have to ask to, you know, ask up to the man upstairs. I uh, Like I said, I just abide, and uh, I feel great. You know, people keep talking about, you know, am I going to be a Randy Couture or one of these guys? I'm 40. I turned 41 on April 19th, and uh, I feel like I'm 25 still. So uh, I guess when I start waking up and my body doesn't want to work and I don't get up and go run five miles in the morning, I, I guess it'll be a time to slow down. But until then, man, I'm I'm just enjoying the ride. Awesome stuff. Looking forward to seeing you on pay-per-view at the end of the month. Um, any sponsors you'd like to throw out there or promote your Twitter or Facebook? Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, Tilt to Rack, well, you can check all my all my sponsors, everything out on, on my page on Facebook. But uh, Tilt to Rack has been real huge in this camp. Uh, Parker, Harley Davidson, uh, Cage Side, MMA, uh, Gamma Labs always uh, taking care of me. Um, we got uh, Fitness 19. Method CrossFit, and I'm forgetting one. I always, I always do one when I don't have them wrote down. I always forget one. But uh, most of all, just all the fans, man, MMA fans, that I continue to help the sport grow, and uh, you guys first still want to do interviews with old ass men like me. <laughs> Good stuff, bro. Hopefully, we talk to you after you get a win over Parisian. Good deal. Sounds like a plan. Okay, man. Talk to you later. Bye, right, bud. Bye, bye. Okay, bye.